Good evening, I'm Jeff Brady. And I'm Sharon Coe. Polls closed a little more than three hours ago and the race for district attorney has been the one to watch with accusations of big outsider money, bias and bullying. And tonight voters decided a change was in order. Incumbent candidate Nico LaHood conceded to Joe Gonzalez shortly after 8 p.m. We've been with both candidates watch parties all evening and we begin with Eyewitness News reporter Addie Guajardo. She's live at the watch party for Joe Gonzalez and Addie, what was the reaction like there when Nico LaHood conceded tonight? Well, the excitement palpable here for Joe Gonzalez and his campaign, everyone excited and we're going to have you take a look at that soundbite of that excitement you heard. Thank you uh, for coming tonight. Wow, what a day! Yeah. Joe Gonzalez now joins us right now to recount that very emotional and exciting time. Tell me how you were feeling, Joe. We are very excited. We are happy that we apparently have won the race. I understand that my opponent has conceded. Uh, and so I, I guess that means that I'm the declared winner. And so we are very uh, excited about going forward. Uh, and uh, we'll take a couple of days off to recuperate and rest, and then we're back on the campaign trail. Did Nico LaHood call to congratulate you or let you know that he conceded at any point? No, he has not called me. He's not uh, attempted to communicate with me. I have heard secondhand that, uh, as I say, that he conceded the race. All right, well, thank you so much for your time. I know you've got a lot of other interviews to get to. Thank you so much, Joe. Thank you. Everyone very excited tonight. The Texas Organizing Project as well. A huge support out here for Joe Gonzalez making making their faces, making their appearance out here. Now, one strong message that Joe Gonzalez also talked about during his speech, he said he knew he had a message to this community, and that was that you could not run an office on intimidation and bullying people, and those were the claims he was making against Nico LaHood, but again, a very exciting time for Joe Gonzalez and his campaign, but he says they have a lot of work to do coming for November's election, and that's going to be November 6th. They are going to be going up against the Republican opponent. Now I'm going to send it out to Andrea, who has more on Nico LaHood after he conceded. Lots of excitement in this room earlier tonight, but this is the very room where Nico LaHood just moments ago took the stage and conceded in front of his supporters. He served Bear County for three and a half years. He cited funding and lies as the reason his incumbent, Joe Gonzalez, took the 11,000 vote lead. We asked him if he will support him come November. I can't say that. You know, I, mean, I don't change my opinion about the way he ran his campaign. You know, I'm not a politician. I'm a, I'm a real crappy politician, obviously. I'm a public servant. I speak my mind. And he ran a very dishonest campaign. You don't call someone like me a racist and a bigot and, and stand on truth. You just didn't. And so he predicated his campaign on dishonesty. We, we predicated ours on truth in our report card. And so obviously the million dollars influenced that with that. So I don't respect that. Um, I, I still wish him well. I wish whoever is the next DA well for the community. I mean, it's not about me. It's about the community. And that's the way that we've acted in the office, but I can't endorse somebody that, that is dishonest. LaHood says his work isn't finished. He will continue his work with the district attorney's office for the next nine months. As for what's next for him, he says he's crossing that bridge once he gets there. Guys, back to you. Thank you, Andrea. Joe Gonzalez will face off against Tilden Schaefer in November, who's the sole district attorney candidate on the GOP side.